him. That's why I didn't say anything. Hey, Reba. Thank you. Uh, Reba. Hey. Hey. You, uh, you look nice. Yeah? Yeah. Anything stuck in my teeth? <laughs> no. No. Oh, wait, wait, don't, don't tell me you... You're about to have another interview about Ruth Lockhart. Sort of. Do you know that a man called me about a job a a as a television interviewer? I mean, I said no at first. I couldn't believe he was even asking. But then Mara started talking to me about... Oh, hold on a minute. That's him. Um, maybe you should go. Uh, but thanks for everything you did with Ruth. Well, hey, best date I've had in ages. <laughs> uh, you, you know that, that drinks, dinner, hostage, standoff combination thing? It uh, doesn't happen that much anymore. Missing your college years, huh? Yeah, yeah, a little. Yeah, well, wish me luck. Well, you know, maybe, maybe I should just, uh, just no. make sure, okay? Oh, no, 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 hey, look, I was there for your debut. I won't say a word. I'll um, be here only for moral support, okay? Okay. Not one word. I'm so glad that I'm you here. are here. I know. I couldn't wait to tell you about my next book. Oh, oh all right. right. Who died? <laughs> oh, uh, me. Almost, yeah. My past came back to haunt me. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Somehow Edmund got a hold of a videotape of me from Teasers and decided to share it with the nation of San Cristobal. That snake. Yeah. Well, Richard's dealing with him right now, but it's okay. It's okay because the people are willing to forgive me and they understand why I did what I had to do, so... Huh. So... The wedding's on. The wedding's on. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. Because I, I just want everything to go well for all of my friends. That is my new decree. No problems for anyone. Well, that sounds nice, but it, I don't know. It, 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 it's good. It's happening. It, it's happening already. Okay, this is not official, so I shouldn't tell you this. But Danny and Michelle are free. Oh, God, that's great. Mm -hmm. Carmen is in jail. Wow. Yeah. So Ross and I are going to have this big party, and we're going to celebrate. And, and we want you and Richard to come. Can you sneak back for a couple of days? I think so. I mean, I, we should. I'll have to ask Kim. I don't want to miss the party. Oh, sure, you just jet back and visit. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yes, yes. I can't. It's weird. I can't believe it's me. But believe it. Good things are happening for everyone. Yeah, they are. Even Edmund's getting a break, I'm sure. Does that mean he even deserve one? I don't know. I know that Richard would have kept him locked up for a long time if things wouldn't have worked out between us, but I can stay. So I guess Edmund's off the hook. Heard the news? All the flowers for Cassie? Yes, your plan backfired. Yes, it did. I had no idea until last night how she... how much you cared for her. Would that have mattered? No, it wouldn't have. And it doesn't now. She shouldn't be our princess. But you made your choice. And the people supported that choice. And as wrong as I think you all are, there's nothing I can do about it. So, with that being said, you have nothing to worry about from me again. Right. Yes, right. So if you'll just have someone fetch my passport, I'll be off. I'm not going to ask for your forgiveness, Richard. I'll just stay out of your way from now on. Yes, well, I'm afraid you're not going anywhere, Edmund. This has to end. And there's only one way I can keep you from hurting us again. People accepted Cassie. Richard, you said that would decide it. Yes, and what is it that you said, Edmund? That I had to make a choice. That to keep putting it off on other people was tantamount to flipping a coin. You see, I do listen to you. You're a very shrewd man about many things. You can't keep me locked up here, Richard. The people wouldn't stand No, you're right. Incarceration is not an option because you might escape. And then what? Another accident that might kill somebody? Or perhaps you'll come after Cassie again? Or one of her children this time? Richard, I could never you come could. out... You could! You've done it before, and you'll do it again. 
And don't give me that look of hurt, like how dare I accuse you. You have, you can, and you will. How many chances am I to give you, Edmund, and still protect my country and protect my family? I am your family. You are not my family. You are a traitor to your family, and you are a traitor to this country. Oh, that's ridiculous. And whatever I've done doesn't justify an execution, and you know it. I will tell the country the truth, Edmund, all of it, everything that you have done. And the only reason why you are walking around a free man today is because I have kept quiet. I've protected you. Ha! You've protected your throne. Because you knew this kind of scandal would destroy any hope you had of remaining on it. Yes, well, I'll take that chance now, Edmund, because I can't protect you any longer. This has to end, and the only way it's going to end is if I end it. By, by ending me? I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that, Richard. Yes, Edmund, by ending you. You've given me no choice. You know what? Just chew me out already. Put me out of my misery. What is it exactly that, uh... Thank you. I'm supposed to be chewing you out about. I can't believe Beth didn't tell you. Didn't tell me what? Um, Shane came over to the house the other day. Well, that's okay, honey. You're allowed to have company over, and besides, Shane is, well, he's your... Uncle. Uncle, yes. I'm still having a hard time swallowing now. But I, I still don't see where that, where that would present a problem. Um... Well, he brought beer over, and Lizzie saw it. Beer soup? Oh, but I didn't, I didn't drink it, Dad. I didn't drink it at all. I, Great. I didn't. Great. I thought Max was my only worry. Now i got to talk to Josh and tell him that his son's drinking. No, Dad. Don't. Please. I seriously don't think that Shane drinks. I just think that he's been having a lot of trouble with his family, his mom, his dad. You know. Yeah, I, I do know. That's why Josh and Reva have to know. Well, Dad, we didn't even do anything. We played around with Lizzie, and then Beth came in, saw Shane, Shane apologized, he left, that's it, that's all. It's done. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not done. I can't believe Beth didn't wrap me out. That's pretty good. Well, good is not the word we're looking for here. You know, Mom wouldn't have told you either. Oh, she probably wouldn't have. You know, Sue's mom and Beth are two completely different people, but in, in some ways, and I think they're very important ways, in some ways they're a lot alike. Yeah. I guess so. I guess she's starting to be a part of the family. I'm glad to hear you say that. And you know, I don't, I don't know, it's not that you're really going to use it or anything, but I, the word mom is going to start floating around the house quite a bit. And I'm not talking about just with Lizzie. Because remember, that's going to have your baby brother or sister. Hey. Oh, hi. Thank hi. you for coming by to speak to Lizzie. And, and there's no rush. She's not going to school. Well, I'll do anything to see my two favorite girls. Hey, that is great news about Michelle. I know Philip is going to try to reach her from the clinic. Did, did he get through? Rick? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? Did Michelle hear from Philip? Um, I, I, I don't know. I think so. Um... So, what's up, Beth? What's up? Uh, I got the beep. Um, is, is Lizzie okay? Uh, Do I need to... Uh, she... Her hair started coming out. Oh, no. Well, how is she? I mean, we talked about this. You knew this was a possibility, she's, right? She's okay. The problem is that she wanted to keep it from me. She wanted to keep it a secret because she was worried about upsetting me. That little girl will not stop taking care of her mom. I know. You know that? And it scares me, because what other symptoms is she keeping from me, or might she keep from all of us? So I thought, if Uncle Rick, her favorite doctor, she's in the kitchen, please. I will go talk to her. I'll be right back. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello? Philip, hi. How is everything? Everything is fine here. No, <laughs> really, really. Yes, I have everything under control. She just misses you. Ooh. <laughs> no, I feel like the baby just kicked. Yeah. 
uh, mostly at night, like before, but he's starting to get pretty feisty during the day, too. Um, uh, look, uh, Lizzie's with, with Alan. Could you call her back in a little bit? Is that okay? Great. Bye. How's Lizzie? She's fine. She's in the kitchen with Alan having breakfast. Is everything okay here? What are you here? thinking about that? I mean, Philip's not your husband anymore. Jim is. I mean, do you really think sharing that intimate information with Philip's going to help things? Now, come on. You can't have it both ways anymore. You were wonderful. With so little on-camera experience, very poised, very in command. Well, we were all acting from our guts that night. That's it. That is it. Your guts. Once again, you put your finger on it. Found just the right words. This is what we're offering. We want you to do woman on the street interviews, some wrap around, every woman kind of commentary. It's a very competitive contract. You brought a contract? But Mr. Kent, I'm not even sure this is something that I want to pursue. You'd be wonderful. The directors might tone you down a little just to make you look more impartial. Uh, but you're a natural. Uh, in every way? Excuse me? You, yes. Yes. Well, it's my natural color. You'll look fabulous. Thank you. As a brunette, I'm sure. What? Our anchor woman's a blonde. We need the contrast. <laughs> you know, uh, we had a much better offer from Channel 3 yesterday. Excuse me, I didn't catch your name. No Chase. I'm Reva's agent. You could never execute your brother, Richard. How would you ever sleep at night? I'll learn. God! Edmund's personal things, all of his effects, and inform Colonel Dax. They were almost ready. Your wallet and your watch, sir. Give me that. Give it back to me. That's nothing personal. It's my... Can't I have one thing that belongs to me? This is Father's Henry. My dearest son, Richard. This was a letter for me, Edmund. What's going on? It's some sort of joke. Or... It's it's right, it's a joke. It's a joke. Forgery. It's nothing. It's, it's a forgery. Now give it back to me. It's personal. It's, it's absolutely me. It's carrying it up around the map for years. Why? Give it to me. Let's find out what you've been hiding here. Lizzie, it really shows me that she's a very good mother. Mm -hmm. Nice try. It's not going to work. What? I'm finally being nice to your new wife. Take it and run. Take it and run. Dad, I, I have to ask you something. All right, you can ask me anything you want, but just take it easy. I don't know how much more I can handle. Go easy on your own man, old man, okay? Well, it's about Max. What about Max? I really, really want to see him. I don't want to have to sneak around. Now, were either of those two a question because they didn't sound in the proper form? Uh, can I please see Max? Uh, define C for me. Uh, hang out. Okay, define hang out. Dad, you taught high school. You know what hanging out looks like? Well, I know that to you, hanging out looks like sneaking off with Max to go skinny dipping or else sneaking into the house when Beth and I aren't around. Do you see what you're making us go to? <laughs> Nice try. Okay, for one, it wasn't skinny dipping. And for two, I haven't done anything that you should be worried about, and we won't. Uh -huh. Did you hear how many times I used the word sneak? Dad, come on, just ease up a little bit. We can do normal stuff. We can go to parties, go to the movies, normal, healthy, every day. Mm, and, if, and if I say no, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to sulk around the house and constantly play that Christine Aguilera song? Is that what you're going to do? Christina Aguilera. Uh -huh. And <laughs> will that work? If I hear that song one more time, Suze, my ears are going to explode. Good song. Okay. 
Okay, you can see Max, but there are going to be some rules. Okay. Now, what are the rules? Uh, movies. Only on the weekend, and I get final movie approval. Done. Okay. Uh, you're going to have a curfew. And you're not allowed to go to any parties unless parents are, are there. Come on, what do you think? This is a negotiation? These are the terms. Sign on the dotted okay, line or run. Okay, okay. Your rules. As long as I get to see Max, I'm happy. <laughs> Why does that look scare the life out of me? Because it's love, I think. Uh, well, if you have to... I don't know. If you have to think, then it isn't. Trust me. And, and just don't go doing anything foolish, please. You mean, I know. If it was love, I'd, I'd just know. You would definitely know. And you know what? It'll happen. I promise it'll happen. 20, 30 years from now, when you sell that tricycle and move out, it will definitely Yeah. Happen. Even you old people fall in love. Yeah, yeah, watch that old stuff. Bring her the check, would you please? No, seriously. I mean, even when I had my doubts about Beth, I could... I could totally see that she loved you. Rick, I'm not trying to have things no, you know he's trying very hard to keep this a secret you think telling the baby's kicking is it's just gonna make things worse Beth. the baby kicked when i was talking on the phone i didn't think well you've got to start thinking here okay because you're, you're carrying phil's biological child it's it's nearly impossible for him to keep a secret as it is keeping any kind of secrets nearly impossible you're just making this harder can't you see that i'm sorry i uh... Rick, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. You don't have to be. Well, wait, you, you, you want to take care of all my trouble in your spare time, Beth? Is that it? I could. I'd like to know if something's bothering you. I'm supposed to be your friend. I'm sorry for snapping at you like that. It's just work's been tough. I, I'm sorry. You accept my apology? Yes. You're taking care of too many people. Mm. Tell you what, I will speak to Lizzie. You should go and do something for yourself for a change. Well, you know what would make me very happy is to talk to your beautiful daughter. That's what would make me very happy. You're too good, Rick. Well, of course I am. Oh, please. I'm serious. You're too good. You always have been. Okay, so you tell me you were a little wild in medical school. Mm -hmm. But besides that... Besides that, I'm, I'm St. Rick. I'm St. Rick. Now, do you think your little girl's finished eating yet? I think she should be. I'll go get her. Look, I don't think you're a saint. I think you're too wonderfully human for that. And every once in a while, you are allowed to make a big, whopping mistake. I already have that. Believe me, I already have. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, we didn't have a chance to discuss last night's offers uh, this morning. Offers? Yeah. Yeah, the networks. Uh, and, of course, we're looking at syndication, her own show. Oh, God, that, that, that reminds me. Um... Oprah's office called, said that uh, she can speak to us at uh, 3 o'clock about helping us set up. You know, I thought it was a great idea. <laughs> Gee, that might be a little tough to fit in between classes, Miss Shane. I am going to school. As part of a series of shows. Now, of course, Miss Shane would like to go to school full time, but, uh, well, the world is knocking. Um, this is a nice starting point, Mr. Kent, but uh, we're not interested in these terms. These could be talking points. We'll get back to you. Uh, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Yes. Nice meeting you. We'll get back to you. What, did you live in Los Angeles? Is, where, that, is that where you picked that up? It's in the water. Yeah. It worked. He's thinking about it. You know, I'm sorry to ruin your fun, but I am going to school. Okay, okay. okay. But uh, I wouldn't let you sign with this guy anyway, and not because of the money. Oh. He wants to change you. And you don't change for anybody. 
you have a seating plan and an outline for all of the activities? Since when did you get so uh, organized? Oh, this was Natalie's doing, not mine. She's the protocol person that Richard hired a while back. Protocol person? Yes. That woman could organize an evasion. Hmm. She did all this, so, you know, there's really not much left for me to do. Well, I guess you're just going to have to take care of all of us peasants from school. <laughs> Really, you could throw this big bash, you know, the night before for your family and... Uh, all right, just let me sit here and chew on my foot for a little bit. No, no, it's okay. It's going to be weird not having my family here. Even Reba, but I think under the circumstances, it would be even weirder if she were here. So, have you two not talked at all? No. It's been a long time. You know, it's, it's probably been too long. I don't want to talk about it. Let's, let's go see the kids. They're going to be so excited to see you. And then we'll go find Richard and we'll tell him about Danny and Michelle's party. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, can I use your ladies' room first so I can freshen up and I'll meet you? Yeah, I'll be in the courtyard. Okay. It's never too late. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Hello, Riva. Uh, this is Blake. I guess you're out. Um, all right, I hope you call in for your messages because um, I'm, I'm inviting you to a party that Ross and I are throwing for Danny and Michelle. And uh, I'll call you later with all the details, but we would love for you to come. Uh, you're going to have a great time. <laughs> it, it should be a good time. My dearest son, Richard, as I write, you are upstairs safely asleep while I am at Edmund's bedside. I am grateful for that, grateful that you sleep soundly, grateful that you are my son and my heir. They have just given your brother last rites. I know you will be upset that Edmund is gone, but you cannot grieve long, son. Edmund was the root of his own problems, including this accident. I hate to admit that I could have produce such a child. They say there is such a thing as a bad seed. I never believed that before. But clearly nothing was going to make your brother the man we needed him to be. No amount of discipline or instruction I ever gave him got through to him. He would never have accepted his place and would have been a dead weight. Pulling you down your whole life. He was... Where's the rest of it? Edmund? God, leave us. Where's the rest of this letter, Edmund? Tell me. He never finished it. He was called away. What, you, what you, you could hear? I was waking up. Nobody knew that. I could hear the priest. I... I heard Father come in and sit down. I tried to say something, but I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't speak. I couldn't open my mouth. I couldn't open my eyes. There was some kind of emergency. Someone came running in. It was a storm, maybe. Yes, it was a hurricane that night. Right, but then that must have been it. And it must have been urgent because Father ran up. Ran out, I, I assumed it had been urgent. Anyway, he... He left that behind. I... I tried to let him know I was waking up. I tried to let him know that I was coming back, but, uh... It, it must have been a full five minutes before I was able to open my eyes. And you found this? It was the first thing I saw. My dearest son. Of course, I picked it up thinking... I put it under my pillow. Um, I, I, I guess Father assumed that he had been tossed away in the excite in the excitement of my recovery. I suppose the gentlemanly thing would have been 
to give it to you after all it was addressed to you. But you already know what was contained in the letter. So there it is. God, get me out of here. It's time. through and I was going to be allowed to, to see you. I went running into the room and there you were. You, you had a strange look on your face. You smile. You started talking to me but you were saying all the right things. But it wasn't you. You weren't there. You were somewhere else. And I don't know. It was like you were couple of feet behind your own eyes, watching. You were a boy then yourself. You have no idea what you saw. <laughs> All I knew was my brother was sick. It didn't go away, Edmund. That look stayed there. It was always there the rest of your life, ever since. Oh, Richard, I can't do this. I, I can't either kill me or let me go, but stop. Stop trying to figure me out as if I were some damn puzzle that you can just arrange and then somehow I'll fit. Because I'm not going to fit. And God knows, as I am, I am completely unacceptable. I am not the man we need Don't him to be. Don't you dare put that man's words into my mouth. That sick, twisted old man. If you were alive today, I would wring his neck myself for writing this piece of filth. Of course, of course. Because you're the one who loves me, you're the one who protects me, and you are the one who looks at me exactly the same way he did! And from that day, Richard, from that day, you look... Mm -hmm. You looked down at me in that hospital bed and you saw what you saw well so did I you didn't need to read the letter Richard you were already there oh you smiled too and you said all the right things but it was all over your face you looked down at me in the hospital bed and you saw damage you were sick. Richard you saw a defective person Someone you'd have hanging around your neck for the rest of your life. Well, that chain goes both ways, Richard. Because just as you were hung with me, I was hung with you. And it didn't matter anymore, Richard. It was the look all over your face. What well, I wanted to be free too. Do you think you're the only one? Oh, God. God, just get me out of here and have it done with. Just have it all done with. As long as I'm alive, I'm still a member of this royal family, and I just gave you an order! Give my brother his belongings. He's free to go. I love 
Is that what this is? No. <laughs> I really don't feel good. Well, you don't? You don't feel good? Oh, you know what I brought? I have a surprise for you. I brought tons of oatmeal from the hospital because I know how much you love that oatmeal. <laughs> you do? I don't act like you don't like it. I know you love it, sweetheart. I'm gonna... Okay. Hi. Thank you. Kiss. I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, you look great. All right. So what's up? Any uh, big secrets to tell me? Why? Do you have a big, juicy one? Do I have a big, juicy one for you? You want to hear it? Guess what? There was a boy at the hospital, I think, that really, really likes you a lot. He was asking me all about you. Yeah? Yeah, but he was too old for you, so I nipped that one in the butt. That's my big secret. What's yours? I my hair. Hey, sweetheart, that's that's wonderful. That's it is. That means the medicine's working for you. You should celebrate that. Well, I was so worried that mommy would get upset that I kind of talked to Susan and Shane first. Oh, honey, you don't have to worry about your mommy. Okay. But she gets so upset. I know, but you know what? That's probably just your mommy's way. You know, making her cry makes her feel better. It's sort of like like a burp after a good meal. Gross. Well, it's gross, but, you know, don't you feel better after something like that? Well, it's the same thing with crying, sort of. Don't you feel good after a, a big cry? I guess so. Well, the same thing with your mom, all right? So next time you see your mom start to cry, don't worry about making it better, sweetheart. Just be happy for her, okay? Uncle Rick. Am I really getting better? You will, sweetheart. You will. Okay. You promise you'll always take care of me? Oh, why would you say something like that, honey? I'm not going anywhere. I don't know. Just with the new doctor and everything. Well, Dr. Noah's a very nice, he's a very good doctor. Do you like him? I like you. Everything just seems to go better when you're there. I'll never leave you, sweetheart. Okay? And no matter what happens to the hospital, I'll always be there for you. Come. You're getting tired, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you didn't want to get up out of bed at all this morning. Tell you what, why don't you go take a nap and I'll tell mommy what's going on, okay? Thanks. Okay. Tell me you're tired of sharing that beautiful little girl with me. No, absolutely okay. not. You always know the right things to say to her. Really? Well, did you walk in on the burp line or was it something else? I missed that. Oh. Missed that. <laughs> He'd make a great father, Rick. Just like you're a great doctor. What every doctor should be. Not too many people go through what we've gone through and still remain friends. Yeah, I mean, who else would have this, Beth? Mm. Really? Abby, Jim, You know, Harley. you always have an answer for a thing. I hate that about you. <laughs> hmm. I did think that for a while, though. Who else would have me? Really? I mean, I don't mean to bring this up, but you dumped me at the prom <laughs> for the other guy. <laughs> I'm talking true. about recent years. Oh, recent yeah. years. Oh. Well. Mm. I messed Please up don't. so many times in so many ways. Who would have thought I would have ended up with someone as wonderful as Jim? And you know what? He's a, he's a great guy. Mm. I mean, there's not a lot of men that would jump in a situation like that and do as good a job as he has, you know. He's a good man. 
Rick. About before, Rick. I, I wasn't trying to do anything to Philip. I wasn't. He's moved on, and I'm glad. But he gave me my child, my children. Oh, you know what? I left my beeper in a car, and I'm expecting a call from Josh, so I'll, be, I'll meet you in a second, okay? So no matter what happens, I will always love Philip. Oh, what was that? Your beautiful baby, don't change. <laughs> or something like that. Mm. Okay, look, just 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 do me a favor, okay? When this guy calls back, don't sign anything. The guy's a hustler. Now, how would you recognize that? So what are you gonna do now, Dr. Chase? Go back to the hospital, perform a little surgery? Maybe I could help you out. I no, I I don't think you'd want to do that. You don't want to get sorrow. It's it's not fun. Bad on the skin. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm, look, I'm sorry I buttered that. Uh, no, you're not. No, I'm not. Look, no man tells me what to do. I don't sit still for that. Never have, never will. Like, I'm just having a little bit of fun, okay? If it was something you really wanted to do, I wouldn't have said a word. What well, makes you think I'm not going to take it seriously? You know, you must be hell to fight with. <clears throat> now, that's for good luck. No matter what you decide to do. You need a keeper. Chase? It's me. The lab said these results were urgent, therefore Lizzie Spaulding. Damn. This is not what I wanted to hear. Guiding Light, 